Hey y'all, I'm Pam with 44 Marketplace. And if today's your first visit to my channel, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm glad you're here. Please take a minute to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And keep in mind, I try to put a material list in the comments below each one of the videos. If I miss something, please let me know. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is clean, 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 clean. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. And I know people will tell you that Dixie Belle paint will not hold up on kitchen cabinets, but I'm here to tell you that Dixie Belle paint will hold up on kitchen cabinets. Uh, I've been doing it for years. My kitchen cabinets hold up well, so that's why I decided to do this video, just to help you guys. I am going to offer an online class in refinishing kitchen cabinets, but today we're going to kind of go over this. All right, so the first thing you need to know is cleaning. I use, this one's had it, but I use Scotch-Brite pads with my Dixie Belle White Lightning. Now, I know a lot of people do it differently, and I can't really... Um, I can't address that because I don't know about vinegar and whatever. I use Dixie Belle White Lightning and the scotch Bright pads because it kind of scores the surface minutely and gets it ready for paint. Dixie Belle White Lightning has, um, it, it has a lot of cleaner in it, but it also has a deglosser, so there's that. So if you know somebody that is thinking about doing their cabinets, pass this video along to them because I want you to understand how important it is. I don't care how fastidious you are about cleaning, your kitchen cabinets are dirty. I'm just gonna tell you your kitchen cabinets are dirty. So clean, clean, clean. And when I say clean, sometimes kitchen cabinets take as long to clean as they do to paint. I am not exaggerating. So clean, clean, clean. Now the other thing is people tell me that you've gotta have a bonding primer. You do not necessarily need a bonding primer, but I can't tell you, you don't have to have one either. It totally depends on the cabinets that you're painting. Um, if your cabinets have a cracked or a peeling finish or something like that, then yeah, you are going to have to sand. Do I usually have to sand? No, usually I don't have to sand, but that's not to say you won't ever have to sand. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about using, um, painting your kitchen cabinets. If your finish is cracked or it's peeling, don't put your paint on there. This is not a miracle cure. This is paint. So you've cleaned, 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 and then you have to decide, are my cabinets laminate or are they a very slick finish? If they are, then you probably need slick stick. Dixie Bell makes a product called slick stick that is really, really good for cabinets that have a slick finish or they are laminate. Dixie Belle Slick Stick, you apply one coat, you can apply it with a brush, you can apply it with a sponge, or you can even roll it on. Let it dry for an hour. Apply the second coat, let it dry overnight. Now, will you need that on every single set of kitchen cabinets? Absolutely not. But some cabinets do require it. Some cabinets also require that you, that you sand. I'm sorry to tell you, but some of them do. Not necessarily all of them, but some of them do. So I do this on every single one of them. Now we have gotten them cleaned, sanded, slick sticked or whatever. Now we've got to talk about finishes. That's where my samples are going to come in. Here is a sample that I did for a customer that is the new Dixie Dale French Linen. If you'll notice with this, I. When I do my samples, I glaze half of it and half of it I leave unglazed. And I also don't add sheen to them. If you top coat these and add sheen to them, then sometimes people get lost in the sheen of the finish. And that is not what you want. Dixie Belle does not require a top coat. So you don't have to, um, you don't have to top coat it if you don't want to. But understand that it is still a water-based finish and it's gonna take 30 days to cure in whether you top coat or not, so keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is the color. Look at your color of your cabinet doors and on your sample at all different times of the day because while you might like this in this light, you may not like it as well as you do in this light. So in the morning, your light in your kitchen is gonna be different than it is in the evening, so be mindful of that, okay? This is sandbar. 
This is a great color and you can really tell on the sandbar half is glazed and half isn't. There are two schools of thought. Some people find the glazing looks dirty. Other people find the plain door is just that. It's too plain. Also, keep in mind, if your cabinets have a grain to them like this cabinet door does, if your cabinets have a grain to them, when you paint them, the grain will still be there, okay? You can opt to fill in the grain, but if you look closely at this cabinet door, can't you see that grain? This cabinet door is painted, but it does still have a grain. So be mindful that even though you may paint it, it will still have the grain unless you opt to fill it in. So those are my regular ones. Another thing to remember is cabinet doors have uh, panels in them. These panels are affixed. See the way this back is made? These panels are fixed, but if your panel is a floating door, make sure when you paint it, you use a little X-Acto knife to make sure that that paint doesn't get in there and keep your door panel from moving freely, because if you do, your paint will crack. Another thing is caulking. Caulking, caulking, okay? If you're going from light to dark or dark to light, I can assure you, when you paint those cabinets, all of where the boxes meet, where the crown mold meets the top, everything will show if you don't caulk. I use a paintable DAP caulk. It dries in 20 minutes. You can spray it immediately, so keep that in mind. But remember, when you're painting cabinet doors, you paint the backs of the doors as well as the front of the doors. So typically, my top coat of choice is Dixie Belle's Gator Hide. Gator Hide is non-yellowing, <laughs> non-yellowing, and it is also water repellent. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about cabinet doors. Another thing to keep in mind is a specialty finish. This is a sample I did for a customer with some rust on it because it was going to go in an outdoor older kitchen and you can see we did rust as well as some layering. It's always fun to do. Here are, this is what is all included in this door. There's a lot of stuff included in a door. Another thing to remember is you can also layer this way. If you're doing a specialty finish like that, be mindful, this is going to take time. Do part of the kitchen at a time so it doesn't seem so overwhelming and you'll be happier with it. Another look that you can do is a blended finish. Blended finishes are great, but again, take a lot of time. So be mindful of that. I typically don't use waxes in kitchens because when I use waxes in kitchens, it is, you have to gator hide over it. Waxes don't hold up well in kitchens because of the amount of heat in a kitchen, as well as many other things. So be mindful. We're gonna review. Okay, so when you start a kitchen, clean, 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 clean. After you've cleaned, you have to tape and drape. And I mean tape and drape everything. Another little hint, when you tape and drape, if you have any concerns at all about your tape, throw some clear coat over it. Where your tape meets your quarter round on the floor, throw a quick coat of clear coat and guess what? No bleed, all right? So we're taping, we're draping, we're covering up everybody's stuff so that our kitchen cabinets are easier to paint. Then we're caulking, 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 caulking. I will tell you typically if you're going to paint something, you, it takes as long to, to clean, caulk, tape, and drape as it does to paint the kitchen cabinets, but it's so worth it, okay? It really, really is so worth it. So we've cleaned, we've caulked, we've taped, we've draped, and now we're all set to paint. Put two coats of paint on at least, and that totally depends on what finish you're looking for. Most cabinets take two to three coats of paint, and then I use two to three coats of gator hide on the back of the door and at least three coats of gator hide on the front of the door. That way you can make sure everything is very well protected. Then we gotta go back to our cure time. Cure time is of the utmost importance. Everything has a cure time. If anybody tells you different, they're kind of crazy. Um, if it's a water-based finish, there's a 30-day cure time. So be mindful that there's a 30-day cure time. Whether you're doing this kind of finish or this kind of finish, or this kind of finish, you are going to have a 30-day cure time. Now, another thing you can do is I remove all of my doors and drawers when I paint kitchen cabinets. I remove all of my doors, 
all of my drawers and I take them to my warehouse and spray them and they go on my drying rack. Now, is that necessary? Absolutely not. My friend Lisa in Alabama does kitchens. She hand paints everything in place and that is great. Whatever way works best for you. I can only attest to the way I do it and I pull all of my doors and drawers and I paint them at my warehouse. They lay on my drying rack for seven days before I reinstall them because of the cure time. I like mine to be seven days into the cure time before I reinstall. So, in a nutshell, painting your kitchen cabinets can be done with Dixie Belle with no problem whatsoever. Whether you are doing it this way or something fun like this or something even cooler like this, it really doesn't matter. Even something as plain as these, you want to make sure and account for cure time. That doesn't mean you can't use your cabinets. It just means that your cabinets aren't going to be to their full potential for about 30 days from the day that you put your final top coat on, on average. Humidity can play a part in that as well as many other factors, but typically in a climate controlled environment, 30 days is all it takes. So, if you don't have any questions, um, then I am going to let you guys go because I know it's Sunday night and everybody's got to get started for their Monday. I really appreciate you listening. I hope that I answered some questions and I hope that you guys remember taping, draping, and caulking because to me that is one of the most important things other than cleaning that you can do because the more you tape, drape, and caulk, the easier your job is going to be to do. And it's always done like eating an elephant one bite at a time. If you need to do a little part of your kitchen at a time, do it. And if you ever have any questions while you're painting your kitchen cabinets, I'm Pam with 44 Marketplace and I would love to help you. Thanks for watching. See you later.